Pada 21 November 2024, Rusia menghantam kota Dnipro, Ukraina dengan rudal jenis baru. Dikenal sebagai Oreshnik, rudal ini digambarkan oleh Presiden Rusia Vladimir Putin sebagai sistem senjata yang tak terbendung. Profesor Theodor Postol dari MIT menarik tiga pelajaran dari insiden serangan tersebut. I mean, it's, uh, first of all, the obvious thing is that uh, the escalation was caused by the United States. The United States, the Russians made it very clear that if American weapons were being used, that could, could, which could only be used because of a direct American support for the weapons, that this constituted an attack by the United States on Russia. Because this rocket is exactly the kind of rocket that the United States says it wants to deploy in 2026 in Germany. These rockets, that they, they don't yet have them. They haven't yet got them up and running. So what the Russians have done, so, so this was a message directly to the Americans about their deployment Uh, their planned deployment in, in, in uh, Germany in 2026. They're telling them, you mess with us, we can respond in kind. It's almost certainly a hypersonic missile. We have videos of it uh, traveling fairly close to a horizontal trajectory, probably at high altitudes. I don't I haven't had time to do the arithmetic, but I would guess uh, 60 or 70 kilometers altitude, maybe a little lower. Um, it's luminous because um, it, um, it's, the atmospheric heating is tremendous at, at these uh, uh, hypervelocity speeds. This missile is different from other missiles. It doesn't rise out of the atmosphere and become cool you know, as it follows a ballistic trajectory before it re-enters the atmosphere. It's skimming along the surface of the atmosphere, generating a tremendous amount of heat. So you have the equivalent of um, uh, 66. We know there were 66 munitions. We know that for sure. So the, the explosive yield of the total payload was between 6,000 and uh, 7,000 and 10,000 pounds of TNT. 